Hey everyone, my name is Lindsay. Welcome to Love Them Well. Today I wanna to show you my classroom and some tips and tricks that I've learned throughout the past few years that are really helpful for teaching in a middle school or high school classroom. First of all, this is not a real library. <laughs> this is a shower curtain. I paid under $20 for this thing and it's just a really fun decoration for the classroom that was really easy. I put it up with 3M hooks and I also got one for the fall and one for the winter and I'll show you guys those later on in the year. I love my classroom to smell good, but I don't want to wake up in the middle of the night wondering, did I blow out the candle that I lit in my classroom today? So I got this Scentsy warmer on Amazon and I put in a Yankee Candle Home Sweet Home in here and it smells so nice. This particular one even has a timer so I can set that and know it's gonna be turned off in six hours and I don't have to worry about it at night. So middle school kids do not mean to walk away with your pencils, but the past few years I've bought pencils, put them out in the classroom and they're gone by the end of the week. And so to avoid that, I'm borrowing a tip from one of my other teacher friends. She uses flowers and I am using fall leaves and these are just attached to the pencil. I made it so that they could still get to the eraser, but this way they don't forget that they borrowed one of my pencils if they forgot one that day and they'll all stay right here in my classroom. I also made this sign that is right by the homework turn-in bin that says, don't forget your first and last name because I'm trying to teach the sixth graders this year to write their first and last name on their stuff. And then my daughter made this out of beads. When I first started teaching, I bought these from Walmart. They're little photo stands and I use them all the time. I use them to display books. I use them to display their binders or anything that we're doing in the classroom. I have used these time and time again. They were under a dollar for one of them. I bought like 10 and even other teachers come and borrow them because they're so handy in displaying things. I bought these on Teachers Pay Teachers and I'll link that below. I bought them for every season and I'm really excited. It's an easy way to, to change out decorations in the classroom, but also make them appropriate to English and each season is different too. So it's gonna be really cool to pull those out. And every example is from real literature. Another way to decorate the classroom, I'm using some of my kids' own artwork. This is something that my little kindergartner made last year and I loved it, so I put it right here. Just a fun way to decorate and keep him a part of my room. Again, candles that are fake, that will not be burning at night and make me think that I've kept candles lit. If you haven't caught on yet, there was a time last year that I had lit a candle because we were having some kind of nice English day. I lit a candle, went home that night, couldn't sleep because I thought, what if I left the candle burning? And I didn't, I will not light a candle again in my classroom. It just made me too nervous. So I'm finding other ways to bring light into the classroom and nice smells without candles. I got this lamp for my Kia. It is a lantern. How cool is this? And these spots I will link below on Amazon. I had a lovely parent buy them for me last year, but they're wonderful. The kids can set them around the room and they can sit there while they're doing assignments or reading books. And then speaking of working around the room, I do like to have clipboards on hand so that students can take those and work around the room if they'd like. And also working in the hall, like if they are making up a test, they can put on a clipboard. Clipboards are great. Have as many as you can in your classroom. And I'm also encouraging my kids this year to also have their own just in case they need it. Cause we go outside a lot and having the clipboard will be good for assignments not blowing away. I did have a student who lost an entire project last year cause it blew away and was on the roof of the school. We couldn't get it. So clipboards. I have a filing cabinet by my desk. And so for absent work, anytime a kid is absent, I will write their name on the assignment that I'm handing out, stick it in this folder. I don't even sort it by class. It all goes in here. And then I will open that folder the next day, see who needs that assignment. It's just a really easy way to keep track of who didn't get a paper, who still needs one. I also keep extra copies in another folder that's right next to it. So if I have extra copies of something, throw it in there. The first few kids who come and say they lost something, they can have a copy. And I'll just empty that out every few weeks when it gets full. But it's nice to keep track of those extra copies somewhere. And those right there are next to my desk. Another little hack for the classroom. There are ambiances on YouTube. So I'll just go to YouTube, search Harry Potter classroom ambiance, beautiful music, a beautiful screen for the TV. And that's a way that we can keep music going in the classroom, but the students are not using their own phones to listen to that music. In the past, I have trusted my students to use their phones for listening to music if they want to during a work time, but I don't trust what's coming through those phones. So I don't want advertisements coming up that I do not think are appropriate. And so no phones this year for listening to music, but we're gonna have music on in the classroom when we're working. And that's a fun, free way to do it on YouTube, searching for those audiences. 
Encanto has a really good one. And there are some really fun fall cafe jazz ambiences and also winter ones, spring ones, whatever you can imagine it's there. And a little trick for my own self, I like to feel like I'm at home when I'm here at school. So I have my own kettle that I put on and uh, it works really fast. It's an electric kettle. And I have my cabinet up above with a mug, honey and tea. And there are times throughout the school year that we'll have hot chocolate using this tea kettle and that's really fun. I like to be prepared for birthdays. So I have birthday pencils that the kids get on their birthday. I have a list of all the birthdays so that I know when a birthday is coming up and they get a birthday pencil. And my husband was like, why would a middle schooler want a birthday pencil? And that's what's so funny. They don't. This is hilarious to me. I have laughed about this, but they're gonna get a birthday pencil this year. Last year I bought on Amazon. There were 25 little trinkets for 20 bucks. The kids loved those too. But I thought birthday pencils are kind of hilarious. So we're gonna do that this year. And I also have water bottle stickers, which never get old. The kids love those too. So they can pick a water bottle sticker and they also get a birthday pencil. Birthdays are super important for me to remember. I just wanna make sure that people feel special on their birthday. So I do have birthday cards and candy bars. These are for my teacher friends so that when I come to school one day and realize, oh my goodness, it's her birthday, I can give her a chocolate bar and a birthday card and she can hopefully feel special that day. Okay, I think that's all that I have right now of tips, tricks, some hacks that I've discovered. Oh, there is one more. It's actually my favorite hack of all. I got this idea from the kindergarten teachers. The red shows the kids how much more time they have. And this not only helps the kids stay on task, but it helps me because I can say, all right, we have 10 minutes to work on this assignment. I'll set the timer 10 minutes and then it'll ding when that time is up. Before this timer, I would say, okay guys, we have 10 minutes to work on this. I would get sidetracked with doing something else. 30 minutes would go by and I've missed 30 minutes of class time that I need to be doing something else. So this has been super helpful. I hope you guys are all having a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.